Happy Pride Month, everybody. Now, June is known as the commemorative LGBTQIA plus Pride Month, and it's in honor of the Stonewall riots that happened in June of 1969. The riots were a response to a police raid that happened in Greenwich Village, New York, and is considered to be the most important event to spark the gay liberation movement. Now, it's been 52 years since the riots happened, and some progress has been made. The LGBTQIA plus community has suffered hardship while fighting for equality, and it's an ongoing battle, and the battle rages on. So, in honor of Pride Month, here are some LGBTQIA plus figures in the metal community and these brilliant musicians are either lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Now Judas Priest Incredible Frontman is probably the most important gay figure in the metal community. He came out in the late 90s and recognizes it as one of the most liberating things that he's ever done. Gal is an openly gay legend in the black male community. He affirms the black male community doesn't mind despite what some people's criticisms towards the controversial genre is. Now Roddy Bottom of um, Faith No More came out as homosexual in the 90s and this was in an interview with The Advocate which is an LGBTQ publication. Tep Shemaya never thought of herself as a closeted musician regarding her sexuality. She considered the fact that she was a lesbian and never for the need to hide it. Mina Caputo has had difficulty dealing with her gender identity issues, admitting that she battled drug addictions and almost committed suicide. Now, on a side note, if you're going through any sort of hardship, I highly recommend you talk to a family member, you talk to a friend, and get professional help. Now, get back on track. She came out as transgender in 2011 and feels that her life has completely changed for the better. Now, Mar Marissa Martinez was living with a wife before she had to do gender reassignment. She came out in a magazine article and received full support from her wife and band members to go through the transition. Paul Masvidal and Sean Reiner were in a band called Cynic and, they, and both of them in 2014 came out as gay. This is a mouthful to pronounce but the sang the sangu scrooge bog I hope I sorry if I butchered that but the leader of this band, who's called Cameron Boggs, identifies as non-binary and he drops a quote which I think is quite a good note to end on and he says, I just want to write the heaviest shit of all time which has groove and feeling in every little bit of it. Now outside of the actual music, I want everyone to feel accepted and free in our specific world of death metal. There is too much negativity when it comes to extreme music. Being a queer non-binary home myself, I get what it's like to feel weird in a scene of full of masculinity and I just want queer kids, people of colour, trans kids, women and whoever to feel like we've got their backs and this shit is okay.